Where are you from? Germany. Germany. Yeah. Germany, Cologne. Did you ever been there? I've been to, my grandparents have a house in Zurich. Ah, okay. It's very close. Yeah, yeah. Not so okay, far away. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for this great show. It's perfect family entertainment. And Maxwell, you fulfill my personal childhood dream. I would hack one of my legs off if I would have tried. If I would ever have the opportunity playing on this or on, on an epic uh, sci-fi adventure like this. So how, how humbling was it for you? It was... So let me give you a bit of backstory. I grew up watching Star Trek. I grew up, uh, I learned to read off um, Ricky Ricotta's Mighty Robot, um, which is a chapter book about a boy and a robot. And I love sci-fi. I would have done the same thing. I would have hacked off my leg to be in a sci-fi TV show. Luckily, I didn't have to. <gasps> but, I wouldn't um, be able to if you did, probably. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> but uh, it was it it was such a huge honor, and we. Um, I, I'm lucky enough to have met Bill Mooney, and we've been lucky enough to have the support of the original cast, and mm -hmm. we have humongous shoes to fill, but I think that we're doing it in our own way, and I think that um, think that it's been a great adventure. Mm -hmm. And uh, you girls did also a very, very great job. So how, how, ch how challenging was it maybe for you? Because um, it was a seven-month shoot, so far that I know? It was a seven-month shoot. Um, I think that there are parts, you know, we always complain about having been outside in the Vancouver weather or or that it was difficult to, you know, work with special effects. But I think at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, these are characters that we really, really relate to. I don't want to speak for everybody, but I know that I really, really relate to Penny as a person. And I've fallen in love with her over the course of the seven months. And by the end of it, it was a lot of fun. Um, and it was also a learning experience through the whole thing to get to be against all these special effects environments and in these green screens I I just had a lot of fun there's always challenges when you're on a green screen of filming uh, I think across the board but um, yeah it was really cool to be given the opportunity to be a part of the show yeah. it's really amazing and I love collecting this behind the scenes memories maybe you have some nice stories from behind the cameras for me something go wrong that shouldn't go wrong some weird things funny things some bloopers I have um, a story for my birthday, I was in Vancouver. So um, Toby Stevens, who plays my dad, he gave me a uh, giant bag of pranks, and in there was a giant floating poop. Um, so I, uh, it was fake one, of course. I put it on, <laughs> I just felt like I had to specify that, just to make sure. Um, Toby's not that gross. Um, oh my god. So, I took, it, bad start so I, took, I took it out, and I put it in his sink, in his trailer, and I filled the water up. Me and Ignacio did this. He's also a Ignacio. jokester on set. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, and he's, he, because he had just finished a really long day, he storms over to my trailer, knocks on the door. Ignacio's in there. We're laughing about it. We're videotaping him. And he's, he's like, you better not do that again. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> it was really fun. Because it was kind of like a taste of his own medicine. He gave me the poop. I put it in his trailer. <laughs> Okay, do you have other nice stories? Um, I think there's actually one of my favorite memories is we were in the middle of the forest. We were filming a scene um, where we were supposed to be running, and it was so, so cold that day. And there's actually a video of us somewhere where the only thing that we could do to stay warm is dance. Oh, and so yeah. there's a great video of us three dancing like crazy, Doing but like robot. very stressed. We danced, yeah. actually. Probably so in so many, in between yeah. so many takes of shots. At the end, they put together at a rap party, they put together like a video of, you know, um, behind the scenes footage. And there was a compilation of us in so many different <laughs> scenarios just dancing, like dance. not, not talking, not doing anything, <laughs> just like. Me and Parker Bozzi came up with this dance called the Circle Dance. And it was meant to like get blood flowing, uh -huh. like, to the, you know, like your fingers that would get really cold. And you would just have to move in circles to get the blood shooting to your fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roly poly. Yeah. I hope to see it one time. Maybe on yes. the extras of the DVD or anything else. I do it here, oh, but I'm kind of restricted in the suit. <laughs>